We are Central Asia Metals, commonly known as Camel, and we're a low-cost copper, zinc and lead producer from our two operations, the Coonrad Dump Leach, Solvent Extraction and Electro Winning, or SXEW, Copper Recovery Plant in Kazakhstan, and the Sasa Zinc and Lead Mine in North Macedonia. Our purpose is to produce the base metals which are essential for modern living, profitably and in a safe and sustainable environment for all of our stakeholders. Camel listed on London's AIM market in 2010 and our successful, low-cost operations have enabled the company to adopt a strong dividend policy, which has become essential to Camel's philosophy. Additionally, as we have created an excellent platform from which to grow, we're also committed to assessing further growth opportunities. Our commitment to sustainability and the communities that we operate in is also core to our business. And at Camel, we appreciate the importance of integrating sustainability and good standards of corporate governance into all of our activities. We published our first sustainability report in 2020, covering our key material topic areas of stewardship, maintaining health and safety, focusing on our people, caring for the environment, and unlocking value for our communities. And we have now published our second sustainability report to GRI standards. The health, safety, and well-being of our employees is of the utmost priority. We adhere to the highest standards and ensure that safety measures are taken to mitigate risk. We work towards the goal of zero harm in the workplace. We also place emphasis on developing our people as well. We have community support programmes in both countries of operation where we aim to help the most vulnerable in society. We operate in a sustainable manner, focusing on reducing our environmental impact and have implemented comprehensive environmental management systems at both operations that monitor and measure environmental aspects such as water, air quality, soils, biodiversity, hazardous material handling, waste generation and recycling, greenhouse gas emissions and energy efficiency. Camel began constructing the Coonrad project in 2010 and produced first copper in April 2012. It is close to the city of Balkash in central Kazakhstan. The project was built on time and on budget and has produced copper continuously since then. Over 100,000 tonnes of copper cathode have now been produced from what was waste. Annual production is of the order of 12,500 to 13,500 tonnes of copper cathode at costs that are well within the lowest quartile globally. At Kunrad, we have over 400 employees and contractors, and all employees are Kazakh, with the majority of our workforce being from the local Kunrad village and Balkash. The processes we use to produce copper are in situ leaching and solvent extraction and electro winning, otherwise known as SXEW, which is a commonly used process. First, a weak acid solution is distributed evenly over the top of the waste dumps through an extensive network of dripper pipes. The copper within the rock is leached out by the acidic solution that slowly drains through the dump until it reaches the natural ground level and then flows out from under the dump following the natural bedrock gradient into a thick plastic lined collector trench which runs along the edge of the dumps. From the collector trench the solution now called pregnant leach solution, is pumped into storage ponds and then onto the processing plant to begin the solvent extraction stage of the process, which concentrates a copper rich solution that is then pumped to the electro winning building, where it is plated by electrolysis in a series of cells that are similar in look to a large car battery. Placed inside these cells are lead anode plates and stainless steel cathode sheets. As the electric current runs through the electrolyte, the copper molecules attach themselves to the cathodes and sheets of at least 99.998% purity copper are formed. We view Kazakhstan as a great place to do business. We have a loyal and experienced workforce with mining in their heritage and operate in a mining friendly jurisdiction. In November 2017, we acquired the Sasa zinc and lead mine in North Macedonia, located in the east of the country close to Bulgaria. It's a mechanised underground mine with a long life through to 2038, employing around 700 people, of which 90% are from the local town. Since purchasing the mine, we have made many incremental improvements which have resulted in a more efficient and modern operation. Such examples are introducing 3D computer software. We've modernised the on-site laboratory, adding a new mill and new crusher, 
and we have begun a fleet replacement process to replace older underground equipment. The mine produces between 23,000 and 25,000 tonnes of zinc in concentrate and 30,000 to 32,000 tonnes of lead in concentrate per annum and production costs sit at around the lowest industry quartile. The current method used to mine the ore is called sublevel caving, which allows the rock above the ore body to naturally cave in after the ore has been mucked out. 70% of the ore is sent by ore passes to a lower level in the mine and then transported by rail trucks to the Galema Reckler shaft for hoisting to the surface. The other 30% of ore is trucked to the surface. The ore in the processing plant passes through the initial crushing and screening stages and then through to the mills, rod mills, spirals and ball mills to achieve ore of the right size for the flotation cells, about 74 microns. The flotation cells produce two concentrates, a lead concentrate which also contains silver and a zinc concentrate. The flotation product is then filter pressed to remove almost all of the moisture and then stockpiled in sheds ready to be collected and loaded onto road wagons for transportation and sale to smelters. Tailings that the processing plant produces are stored on site in downstream tailings storage facilities. We have fully complied with the Church of England tailings disclosure and our SASA team is ascertaining the work streams required for us to ensure we comply with the newly published global industry standard on tailings management. Following a life of mine review, the Camel Board has taken the decision to transition the mining method to cut and fill stoping, which will not only result in maximum recovery of mineral resources, but will also enable safer operating practices, as well as a more environmental and socially responsible approach to tailings disposal, as over 40% of the tailings would then be stored underground. This cut and fill project is now underway. In North Macedonia, SASA is a large and important business which contributes meaningfully to the economy. We believe it's a positive place to do business and a prospective country in terms of its geology and potential for economic development. Camel has been paying a dividend since 2012 and taking into account its 2020 final dividend has paid almost $210 million to its supportive shareholders. Dividend payments remain an important component of Camel's capital allocation strategy and the company has a dividend policy whereby it will return between 30 and 50% of annual free cash flow. Deleveraging is also important to us, and since acquiring SASA and taking on almost $200 million in debt, we have now repaid well over half of the amount originally owed. As part of our capital allocation strategy, we are also committed to assessing new opportunities for growth and have a very good platform from which to grow by acquisition. We adopt a prudent analytical approach to M&A and are not in a rush to grow with two high quality and long life assets and any future acquisition would need to add value to the company. We at Central Asia Metals are extremely proud of the business that we've created. It's a business where robust operational performance, low cost production across a diversified portfolio, strong margins, and free cash flow generation and a focus on sustainability is synonymous with everything that we do. It is this successful business model that our experienced leadership team and dedicated workforce will continue to implement whilst actively looking for exciting future opportunities that will enhance the company. We look forward to continuing to unlock value in providing the metals that are essential for modern day living.